Good morning, everybody. We are back at her again. It never ends. The fun goes on and on and on. Um, we're mailing today. She's working pretty good. Uh, I've got, I don't know, probably 30 bales made already. We started pretty early. Uh, because it's so hot and dry right now, I wanted to bale with the dew on to get some moisture. We're making tailage bales. It's just, uh, just wet feet and it gets wrapped uh, so no oxygen can get in and uh, it ferments. If done properly, it makes for a really, really nice feed. So, minimal drying uh, and then wrapping, bailing and wrapping. So, anyway, we we're at it. I thought I'd show you that a little bit. Let's get turned around here, man. Alright, so I'm following the rows, basically, as best as I can. And they're getting gobbled up in there. Oh, as well. Now I do need to sway back and forth. I'm trying to get you some camera out of that. Got to sway back and forth a little bit to make sure I get a good even feed. Nope, oh, that's full. So I got my bail monitor. And on here, it'll actually right now, that's just saying it's full, it's done. So it's putting the string on. Uh, but there's two graphs in here. I'll try to show you that later when I'm driving. And that's the left and right side of the baler. Uh, and when one bar graph is higher than the other, then you know you have more feet in that side than the other side, so you need to move over a bit. So by weaving back and forth, you make for a nice bail. It's set up for auto tie right now, so as soon as the bale's uh, the right size, I've got it set on the bale or the size I want it, it'll automatically start tying the strings on, and uh, it just wraps it around. So now that's done. Now I can go ahead and open the door and kick the bail in. Back down, very important to make sure it's full all the way down because it has a lock down on the bottom. You can kind of see it there on the screen. Well, oh, not quite at the screen, it doesn't help right there. It has to be all the way down. If not, as you make the bale and the bale gets bigger, it actually opens the door. And uh, anyway, that's, that's not fun. I've done that before. So, so that's it. Then we're good to go again. So, kind of hard to point and drive all at the same time, but the other one tells you how big the bales get. The one on this side. And the bottom one down there is tight uh, when it's tight. So, well, I can just stop here a minute or two, that'll probably work. So, you can see now, if you can, the one side of the graph is higher than the other, right? So, I need to put more on this side and try to keep them kind of even. That way, uh, if I could show you a bale, I don't know if you can see way out there. That bale there. It's fairly flat across the top. I do have one, well you can't see it from this angle, but I got one over there where I had more material in one side than the other, and it just makes for an angled bail. You end up kind of like an hourglass figure almost. It's, it's Well, the hourglass is what you want low in the middle, but the half an hourglass where the one side of the bale is a lot bigger than the other. Uh, you don't want that. It doesn't wrap nice, it doesn't stack nice. Uh, you want nice, uniform, even bales. So, yeah, we've got another, I don't know, Probably two and a half hours of bailing to do here yet. Uh, I've got the farmer working here with my other tractor, the new little guy picking up bales already. And he's going to start hauling them home and then we will get the wrapper going and wrap them all up. So hopefully get around to showing you that too. It's kind of hard to film and work at the same time. Uh, I feel like I'm being less productive, but I think it's interesting. I enjoy it anyway and uh, try to take you along for some of it.
right, wrap and feed. Controls. Bales go in here, they set on that trigger. And that'll start the whole process and this thing moves forward. Uh, once it moves forward, it trips this guy, which automatically then uh, starts the wrap going around in circles. And when it hits that guy, then it shuts off the whole cycle and gets ready for the new one. So here he goes. feed and these rows can be endlessly long. Each roll of plastic is good for about 50 uh, bales, depending on how many you put on. We throw on about five layers of plastic, so each one's good for 50. So by putting on two, we can wrap 100 bales. Uh, this one will actually hold four rolls, but I just stuck two on. We only have 60 bales, roughly, to do. So, it's going.